I'm now going to show how to design the disc here. If you look closely, the outer diameter is 2 inches, the inner diameter is 1 inch, and then we have these little cutouts. These cutouts are designed to align with these holes, and we can see that through the assembly here. So um, looking at the holes in particular, we have a radius of 0.13 or, or a diameter of 0.26. Basically it's a little it's a semicircle with this cutout here. And the center of that semicircle is labeled as 0.813 inches from the center of the disc. It's actually 0.8125 and they've rounded it up and I know that it's 0.8125 because it is half of 1.625 and half of 1.625 is 0.8125 so when we design it we're going to do that um, we're going to design it as a distance of 0.8125 here and then we have an eighth inch thick um, thickness so let's go to inventor here we're going to go new standard IPT and then create. Then we'll start a 2D sketch on the XY plane. Creating a 2 inch diameter circle. So I can just extend this out and type 2 in the box. And then we'll make another circle that is 1 inch. Once I'm done with that I'm going to finish the sketch hit extrude or E and select the disk here. Now um, we only want it to be an eighth of an inch thick or 0.125 inches and I'm going to do a symmetric extrude where we extrude um, half in the positive Z and half in the negative Z and then hit OK. So now we have the ring to do the cutouts it's a little more challenging we're going to go 2D sketch on the face project the geometry and we get the two outlines here then I'm going to make a circle and I'm going to be careful to put the circle on the line here that it's on and that line is the x-axis and we're going to dimension that circle to be 0.26 because 0.13 radius is 0.26 diameter. Then we're going to dimension D is the shortcut for dimension and I'm going to select the center here and go over here and left click again and then just move my cursor down so I can see the number and click again and type in 0.8125 which again is half of 0.1625 the next thing I'm going to do is draw a couple of lines and I'm going to be careful if you notice when I hover the cursor over here I get this dotted line showing on the circle and I'm going to snap it at the very top and then I'm going to move my cursor over until it meets up with the edge and I want to make sure that the um, line is horizontal and if I click here you can see that there are these two little symbols this symbol here is a constraint and you can actually create that constraint here which is a horizontal constraint and then this constraint here that symbol there is a tangent constraint okay and I'm gonna do the same here at the bottom so I'm gonna be careful and click here once move over and then click here then I'm going to finish the sketch this next part sometimes I'm challenged with but hopefully it'll work um, we're going to basically extrude and cut these two shapes out so hitting E for extrude or hitting the button up here I'm gonna click this part here and then click the circle now instead of adding material I want to cut material away and then I can hit OK now instead of repeating the process three more times we're going to use a circular pattern so I'm gonna click here for circular pattern and I get this little window notice the button that is already depressed is the feature it's asking which feature do I want to make a pattern of you can select that feature here or you can actually select it from the actual model here I'm just gonna click once left click once 
and then I'm going to click rotation axis so it is highlighted and I just need to select a circle um, that is has the axis centered on the z-axis and so I could select this circle or this circle or um, I could actually select the z-axis from the origin drop down any one of those would work notice when I highlight that the little z-axis shows up on the model itself and so when I select that it gives me a pattern of six um, spread out across 360 degrees and I don't want six I want four so I'm going to replace that with four and just hit OK so now we have the part modeled let's go again to file I properties and we can change the material and then save it. Here I will just um, go to steel alloy and hit apply and we have the actual part and so I'm just gonna go file save as and then save it as the disk. 